All right, let's go ahead and talk about Defendant Bryan. 307 Burford. You've seen his night out video. I'm not playing it for you again. It's motion activated on the porch. Travis McMichael's white 150 pickup truck comes in front. Driveway decision. And this is important, ladies and gentlemen. This is really important. Y'all got him? Why is this important? What does this say? Mr. Bryan, from his porch, can tell that they are chasing and trying to falsely imprison, stop, define, confine Mr. Arbery. He can tell it from his porch. He knows exactly what they're doing. Y'all got him? He knows what they're doing, and you know what he chooses to do? His independent, independent own decision. I'm going to go join him to try and stop this guy, confine and detain him. He just joins in and starts helping. His driveway decision. That is what being a party to the crime is. You go to help some people who are committing some crimes, trying to stop this guy and detain him and confine him. He joined in. Y'all got him? He knew exactly what the McMichaels were doing. <clears throat> what did Mr. Bryan tell you? So I just kind of sat there for a minute and didn't really know what to do. And then he was trucking. So I mean, he closed in on me quick. And as soon as he got up to me, I overshot the road. I was kind of angled. I overshot the road and forced him to go down into the ditch right there. Aggravated assault with a pickup truck on Mr. Bryan's verdict form. Check. And I angled my truck at him again. I think he kind of turned around. I missed him or whatever. I missed him. He was intending to hit him. I missed him. I mean, when you say, well, I missed him, what does that mean you were trying to do? You were trying to hit this person. Then at the scene, he tells Officer Minshew, one time when I cornered him up over here on Burford, he was trying to get in my truck. He tried to get <coughs> in my door. OK. Trying to get in his door. Or Mr. Bryan, did you get so close to Mr. Arbery that Mr. Arbery had to push off from your truck, getting white fibers from his t-shirt and his palm print on your truck? Because you got so close to hitting him, he had to push off to get away from you. I mean, I can't say for sure that he, he wasn't on the door. I didn't give him a chance to get to the door. But after I angled him off the side of the road, you know, and I kind of went on past him because I didn't hit him, wish I would have. Might have took him out and not got him shot. But you know, I probably got past him a little bit. And he comes up on me. And I could see him in my mirror. And he was coming to the door. And I see his hands right behind the door. After I angled him off the side of the road, I kind of went on past him. I didn't give him a chance to get to the door. Yeah, towards the entrance, towards the entrance. But I, I confronted him again. I angled at him again. We're now at aggravated assault number three. Before we got to the road he was lying on, Right at that house that's on the left-hand side, you're heading towards the entrance of the neighborhood. So he confronted him once again, right there at that corner of Holmes and Satilla. I was fixing. I put it in reverse and was going to back up at him. And that's when he made his move to go down the road it happened on. Felony murder, right here. Felony murder for criminal attempt at false imprisonment. Felony murder for aggravated assault with a pickup truck. Mr. Bryan kept Mr. Arbery from running down Satilla Drive and out of Satilla Shores. He redirected him up homes. But for those actions, Mr. Arbery would be alive. Played a necessary and substantial part in the death of Mr. Arbery. All right, so I backed up and started going down that way. I think I angled at him again. Kind of forced him off the road or something right in here. And he turned around. He turned around right here. The black guy did. He turned around maybe down this far or so. He turned around and started running back the other way. And I pulled into a drive or something and started to turn around. Fourth aggravated assault with a pickup truck. There's his route. 